All right, we're going to talk about bronzing and mattifying. So bronzing is different than contouring. Contouring is shadowing your bone structure, where bronzing is just giving you warmth where the sun would kiss you. So I'm going to actually use this end of my B squared brush, and I'm going to just dip into my Bella bronzer. It's really nice and warm. So you can see here are my contours, and here's my Bella. Sometimes I mix it with a little glow to give it the glow illuminator to give it just a little extra like shimmer to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the top of my forehead because if you think of where the sun would hit you, that's where it would go. The top of my cheekbones. Top of my cheekbones. Okay. Tip of your nose, chin. And I also do my neck just because I like having it look a little warmer, okay? Um, I don't really go here so much because really the sun wouldn't hit you there. So you don't need to worry about going anywhere where um, the sun wouldn't be. Otherwise, it would just be distracting and it make your makeup look like a strange color. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my Buffy again and I'm going to mattify. So some of you may be oilier and you like a mattified look. This is the vanilla dust. It fits right here. And I'm just going to dip in, just like tap in like I would my highlight. And I am going to just tap it in the areas that I might have a little shine that I want to get rid of. So you can see that I mattified it a little bit, but I still don't look completely matte. Like I still kind of have a nice glow to it but I don't have like the greasy look because I ain't know what I want by it, right? So I am just gonna go in my T-zone maybe, and that's about it. I wouldn't fluff and do a whole bunch like that because sometimes if you put too much powder on, you might get like a weird, um, like weird texture to your look and we don't want that either. So. That is how you can mattify your look a little bit or add a little bit of powder. Um, I also sometimes use my perfector sponge to press it in. That way I know I'm not over powdering. Okay, so that is it. And voila, easy peasy.